Nick, it's classic. Very glad to have you here in the studio with good us. For uh, Labour Tories to knock the spots off each other, this is a good deal for Britain, strategically, militarily, and good for jobs. We're very supportive of the AUKUS uh, deal. It, it really is a very, very important deal. It's important, first of all, for security, uh, specifically in the Indo-Pacific uh, region. But secondly, this is also a very good deal for jobs here in the United Kingdom, uh, particularly, of course, in Derby, in Barrow, in terms of the submarines now, these nuclear-powered submarines that are going to be produced as a consequence of this agreement. So uh, Labour is very supportive of it, and indeed the next Labour government will continue to support this. So good relationship between Rishi Sunak and Biden, better, a lot better than the relationship between Biden and Boris, and also the Australian Prime Minister. Do you feel now perhaps a trade deal with the United States post-Brexit is looming? Well, it doesn't seem to be imminent, but clearly we should be open to that trade agreement. It could be transformative. The issue really has been one of Conservative broken promises. That trade deal was originally promised by the end of last year. They also promised, by the way, that 80% of all our trade would be being conducted under free trade agreements. That promise has been broken How as well. How much are we doing? We're in the early 60s at the moment. We're on about 63%. It's well below what was actually promised. But is it really any wonder when we've had all the chaos of the past 12 months. How on earth can you build relationships on the international stage when you've had three prime ministers in the last 12 months, uh, all the different chancellors as well? So you need that stability to be able to do the hard work necessary to secure trade agreements. Are you doing any of that work now in opposition? You've got plenty of time on your hands. Uh, Yes, and what we are seeking to do at the moment is to build those uh, relationships already. We, of course, are looking at coming into government. We take absolutely nothing for granted. We will fight for every single vote. But we are miles ahead in the polls. Prepare, miles ahead in the polls. But we're also preparing so that if we come into government, we are in a position to deliver for the British, British people. Are you worried that polls have shown a contraction? The last poll put the Tories... 11 points ahead. Now, that's a big lead for Labour, but there have been 20, 22, 23 points ahead. And Rishi Sunak is now almost even Stevens with Labour leader Keir Starmer. Has he cut through your man? I don't think so. I do think polls will go up and down and you know, different polling companies, you know, they treat don't knows in different ways and things like that. So you do end up with some variation across the pollsters. But Keir Starmer is seen very much as someone who could be the Prime Minister. It's not often that someone who hasn't held the office has the ratings that, that the Kia does. And I think that's because people look to him to lead that change that people want. Because we're here, we're 13 years in, Andrew, to a Conservative government. Could we name any public service in a better condition now than in 2010? 